and welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. And this is going to be part two of comparing the earth leakage clamps from Mega and Gossam Metrowatt. And I'm going to do some tests today to see how accurate the instruments are. Uh, so to do the tests, I've got my Mega SMRT injection unit at the back there. That's going to be putting current into current clamp table you see in the front there. I'm going to be using the 10 turn coil initially. So we'll take a look at the Mega. We'll set him up. And I'll see if I can zoom in onto the screen a little bit better. Uh, so we've reconfigured so we can see the display a bit easier. But with the Mega here, uh, we'll inject 2.5 amps. And you see the response there. 25.24 just move him about a little bit uh, so the top that's at the bottom we get 25.26 at the bottom Over to the left stable 0.7 yeah so pretty stable there we've actually got 25.26 now okay so we'll go up to 5 amps which should give me 50 amps We've got 49.94. Then we'll go up to the full 10 amps. Should give me 100 amps. And we've got smack on 98.9. We'll put it down as. Okay, so we'll switch off and we'll reconfigure everything so we can take a look at the metric clip. Okay, got some Metrowatt. It's not coming out on the screen very well. There's the 25 amps, which is reading 24. Point, it's popping about a bit. 24.88, 50 amps. It's 49.3. So we've lost a decimal point. On this one, in comparison to the Mega, got to the 100 amps, 98.7, which is the same. And then I'm just going to uh, flip this over and put it onto the central coil and take this up to its max 300 amps. Okay, so we've just reset this onto the center coil. So this is now a 50 to one amp coil. So I put six amps in to get 300 amps out. And we are reading 296.8. Just move this one about as well. 96.8. So pretty good, pretty stable there. Okay. Okay, so results time for these high current readings that I made with these instruments and the cable clamp. And you can see I've got green ticks all the way down. Uh, both instruments show themselves to be in tolerance. So yeah, quite happy with that test result there. So we'll move on to making some tests at some lower current settings. So this is the test setup for 10 amps down to around about 100 milliamps. Um, I'm still using the SMRT in current mode. I've got a lead coming straight out, going through both the current clamps, through an ammeter, and then back into the test set. I'm just using the ammeter as a cross-reference uh, for the current that I'm putting in, which is one amp at the moment, and we're 0.9977, uh, 1.016 on mega and 0.96 bounce around a bit on the metric clip there um, so I'll use this test setup now uh, until we get down to the really low milliamps I'll have to change the test arrangement once more okay so we'll take a look at some intermediate readings here uh, we'll start at 10 amps on them and we're going to go down now aren't we <laughs> I'll point, I'll tell you what that Gossam really is a poor display to read. It also does vary a little bit, whereas Mega does seem quite a bit steadier. 
Uh, let's go down to 5 amps. 2.5 amps. 2.45 on the Metro Clip and 2.529 on Mega. And to 1 amp. 1.018 on Mega. And uh, 0.96 on. Again, a little bit less stable on the Metro Clip. Whereas the Mega is pretty much there, solid. So we'll try 500 milliamp. Unfortunately this test set, as you start to get down to the milliamps, it can become a little bit uh, unstable itself. So but we've got, and what we have to do really, oh no, on five, so we'd still be over range. So we're on 0 0.46 and still bouncing around. Whereas we, there's a little bit more movement on the Meg on that one. But predominantly stable, but we've got much better resolution. If I change this to, uh, yeah, see on the lower range, unfortunately, this is out of range. Uh, so we'll take it down to 300 milliamp so that we can uh, bring it back into range, hopefully. And we'll look at 303.9 on the mega, and we're looking at 297.9 on the. Metro clip, let's go down to 100 milliamps. And we've got 102.2 and 98.7. Uh, so let's go down to, I'm not sure if the test set can do this, but it's on now 30 milliamps. So we should be able to go. Oh no, it does it automatic on that one, does it? Okay, so at 30 milliamps we are looking at 32.75 and 30.7. 25 milliamp we are looking at 24.52 and 23.04. Uh, let's go down to 20 milliamps. So uh, now we're getting to the low milliamps. I think my test set is becoming unstable. So I'm going to do a slight uh, reconfiguration so that I can get some better stability out of the actual test set. So bear with me whilst we change the test arrangement once more. So setup for carrying out the low milliamp readings um, is to actually convert this to kicking out voltage from the Omega Relay test set. And I've got this decade box in parallel with the output of that test set. So that will generate my current through it. This moment I'm kicking out 30 volts and I've got a one kilo ohm resistor across it, which will give me near enough 30 milliamps, which you can see on the key site U1288A there. Um, I'm using that as a cross reference to the signals that I'm getting out here which is 29.928 milliamps in, 30.53 on the Mega, and 29.45 on the Metroclip there. So now I'll carry on with the rest of the tests down to uh, one milliamp. Okay, so we're now looking at 20 milliamps going in. Go to 15 milliamps going in. We're looking at 15.29. And 14.82. And then we'll drop down to 10 milliamps. And then we'll go down to 5 milliamps. I'm just going to tweak my test set a bit because it's uh, looking to be a little bit low. It's the problem with injection test sets, they really designed for really low stuff like this. Um, so we'll look at 5.049 and we'll look at 4.89. Okay, so should be putting in 2.5 milliamps now. And we've got 2.539 and 
2.44. I'm going to have to go for the uh, 1 milliamp, aren't we? Let's see what we're like on 1 milliamp. 1.014. 1.6, I beg your pardon, and 0.96. Okay, so there you have it at low milliamps. This is the results table for the mid range of currents from 10 amps down to 1 amps. Um, you can see there I've got green ticks across all the readings there. They are all within tolerance, so no problems there whatsoever. I'm going to put this next table up. This is for the low milliamps range. So this is 500 milliamps down to 1 milliamp. Um, you can see that for the metric clip, I've got two readings that are out of tolerance um, towards the top end of the range. And then I've got actually five readings that are out of tolerance uh, for the DCM305E. Again, up towards more that 500 milliamp range, uh, which uh, is quite surprising. Um, so the may will be there's a bit of error creeping in there with the, the mega test set and possibly the arrangement that I have with the, the wire going through the clamps is, is not centralised as best as it could be. But that is similar to issues you can actually have when taking readings uh, with these instruments out in the field. So um, yeah, a bit of a surprising result there. But as I say, it's more likely to be a test setup error rather than an issue with the actual instruments. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. A uh, pretty good set of test results at the higher current readings, but down at the lower end, both instruments getting a little bit out of tolerance. DCM305E more than the Metroclip, but the DCM305E does have a much better resolution than the Metroclip that you can also see in the readings. So yeah, I'll perhaps uh, take a second look at the test setup, see if I can improve on that and see if uh, it was that that was actually causing the issue with the readings um, but that'll be for another video sometime if I do that um, so as I say that's it for this one thanks for watching hope you found it useful and I'll see you again in the next video